Yarnco brand has a bit of pop art DNA in it. What better way to project this than using the same methods as Andy Warhol did? As Andy Warhol did. The Polaroid idea came from Amanda Howard, inspired with the Warhol portraits that he was so famous for. In fact, I worked with Andy Warhol, but he used a regular Polaroid camera. I always loved the idea of the Warhol portraits uh, being a project for Arnco, and when I finally took it to the team, it was a no-brainer. I've been on this rodeo for many years. The photographers I worked with in the early 70s, 80s, and 90s worked with Polaroid. Some of the biggest challenges for me working with Polaroid is that you have one chance to get it right. One chance. Creating the imagery was tricky because we had to keep the key focus on the hair being the hero. Polaroids allow us to strip everything away that we're used to, and that's a challenge in itself. But what a wonderful challenge. What a wonderful challenge. This technique was used a lot with Richard Avedon, Irving Penn, Stephen Meisel, and Stephen Klein, and it brought back many fond memories of my times working with the great. That's part of the beauty. You know, that we get to work with this format, this such an old school format, and bring a new life to it. End result, old world photography with a new edge. No one's done this on a commercial scale, you know, of doing an entire campaign on large format Polaroids. Mm. Like, it's pretty ballsy to be like, <laughs> we're gonna shoot a beauty campaign that's not photoshopped, that's one shot. You don't get exactly what you want, but you get what's there. And you get what's real, and you get what happened, and it's cool to show that to people. I've known Polaroid most of my life. It disappeared for a long time. Polaroid is an instant photograph. And I always loved how maybe distorted or the colors were saturated or the black and whites were black and white. There was no gray. There's a feel to it. There's a definite mood and a definite almost intimacy to, to, yeah. the, to the Polaroid that you don't get in digital. Why do we want to do that process? Because it's original. We want people to be original. Well, what we wanted to do with the shoot was Andy Warhol style Polaroids. And what's so great about them is they, they show a character and they show a character through really just hairstyle. That, I mean, that's what I see the most when I see those Polaroids. So we went back and got this antique type of camera, original camera, it's, it's gone back to the origins of photography. You know, these big LAN cameras with bellows and there's no autofocus, there's nothing. Everybody's upside down. You have to use a loop. You've got a cape over your head. Hold it, come out, click, flash goes. Now take it out, put it into this machine and pray. You open it up. And it's like, oh, half of it's missing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it takes a long time. <laughs> Before digital, that was the fastest way to get film. You didn't have to take it to the lab, get yeah, it developed. Definitely. But when you take it out and you peel away this film and you see this thing, it's like, Oh my God. And it's exciting too, to see really that Polaroid exciting. come out yeah. after 20 minutes. The color yeah. of it is so beautiful. Yeah. They're, they're amazing. It's fantastic. And uh, just the, the opportunity to, to work with a medium that's been gone for so long. It's, it's a story, you know, there's, there's a collective story you yeah, know, we, we want to change the culture of hairdressing.
We started, we had what, two models each. Two looks on each model. Two looks on each model, so that's eight looks per, per hairdresser, three of us. That's 24 looks we have to do in a day. Did I get the math wrong? It's 12, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a tough day. Tom's cool, I mean, he, he did uh, a boy and a girl, short hair, that's him, you yeah. know, the, the Clipper, the, the Bruce Weber, you know, like, he's, he's there and he's done. You know, we had to make poor, poor Tom wait because we were running late with ours. Garen brings a big show, two assistants, regimented. I mean, you know, with me it's like, oh, I'll just do that and it'll be fine. Garen's <laughs> like, he's on it and that, that's great. So we, we work in different ways and that's what makes it strong. I can't wait to see, you know, what happens with this. I, I can't wait to. I'm really excited just to see them all together. Yeah, because we've got to wait. Amazing. There are so many photos. We've got to wait a week to see them. So. That long? Yeah. Well, you've got to scan them, let them develop. Think about what you're doing. Think harder. Don't accept the status quo. Challenge it. You know, ask why you're doing things. That's going to change hairdressing.